you said before the regular season that if you can't get excited about Indiana Maryland soccer, what can you get excited about? Yeah. What does postseason add to that matchup? Well, I think I think both teams right now are safely in the NCAA tournament. I, I think both teams are playing not only for a Big Ten championship, but for potentially a top 16 seed. So, uh, you know. Uh, whenever we play Indiana, it's always a big, a big game with, with big stakes, and uh, I think this is no different. Mm -hmm. And you talked about both teams are more impressive uh, defensively now in this part of the season. They have Femi up top leading with eight goals. Are you going to approach him the same way you approached uh, right for Rutgers and, and last game with Michigan where they have that standout leading scorer and you, you put two guys on, on him in the defense? Yeah, I think I think we'll, you know we're aware of their star players with Femi and Tanner, but they have a lot of good players all over the all over the field. So it, it's a situation where you have to be cognizant of the tendencies of their strongest players, but 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 you can't just concentrate on them. There's too many guys that can hurt you, and uh, you know they're very good on set pieces as an example, and that's an area that we have to be really good at in this game. And once again, going to the last time you uh, played Indiana, not all players were 90-minute players, as you said. Uh, now this team late in the season the freshmen you said are no longer freshmen how different are the freshmen specifically on this team from the last time you guys played Indiana well I think we're hardened I think we're toughened you know we've had a uh, a, 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 a strong schedule during the year and uh, I think I think we've we've toughened our guys up and I think the last two games have shown that uh, that they've grown from that. Uh, they've faced that adversity and gotten better and stronger and hopefully that will continue against an Indiana team um, on Friday. One of those freshmen forward Sebastian Elney leads the team in scoring with seven goals. Probably after like the fifth game of the season, Sasha is freshman that, that we shouldn't be playing or thinking that we're freshmen just as other teammates. So that really helped. How does Maryland compare to previous teams you've played on before? Um, it's definitely different just there being like an age range and people doing different stuff but uh, the brothership is the brotherhood is like something I've never experienced before. And you knew coming into this year that there was going to be a lot of new guys, but did you expect to be the leading scorer on this, this Maryland team? Uh, no, I just really expected to just come in and just contribute however I can. So is this team clicking at the right time? Definitely. Would you say that this this team's getting hot at the right time? Yeah, I think we're both playing better. I think, uh, I think uh, you know, you're talking about two programs that have championship fiber. And... You know, we're the two of the all-time winningest programs in all of college soccer. If you if you go back, you know, they're number one and we're number two in number of college cup appearances. You know, uh, we're we're tied for third overall number of national championships and they're first. So so it's uh, you know these, these these are two programs that 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 have a lot of pride and uh, both teams know how to what it takes to win. Uh, win games and win championships and how to play late in the season and so I think this is a this is definitely the marquee matchup um, of the weekend and uh, I think it's going to be a great game we're looking forward to it. these are these are fun games